Hey besties, and thank you for clicking on today's video. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay Johnson. I love makeup, skincare, and hanging out with you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about my skincare, hair care, and hygiene recommendations for the Sephora VIB Sale 2022. I'm super excited. If you guys don't already know, I keep going through this for each video, but if you guys don't already know what the VIB sale is, basically it's Sephora's sale that they do two times a year. You guys already know. It just depends on whatever tier level you're at, what percentage off you will get. So Insider gets 10%, VIB gets 15%, and then Rouge gets 20%. Rouge gets to shop first on the 1st of April, and then VIB on the 5th of April, and then Insider on the 7th. 7th of April, I believe. So yeah, besties, I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys because I love makeup so much, but I really believe that makeup and skincare go hand in hand because a good makeup day sometimes is the result of a good skincare day and a good skincare routine. So I just wanted to share a few skincare items, some hygiene items, and then just like I think one hair item. So let's get right into it. Okay, before we jump in, I just want to say really quickly, of course, I didn't wear any makeup in this video because if you guys are trying to look at my skincare recommendations I figured you should be able to see like my bare skin so that's why I don't have any makeup on but the first product we have is from youth to the people it's the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser I don't have to say a lot about this cleanser I actually have two of them which I know seems crazy so this is the one that I've been using every single day and this one I guess I just grabbed for this video but I guess it's better that I show you the one I've actually put quite a dent in I actually got this I want to say for the Black Friday sale last year so I've had it for a few good months now it's it's lasted me a long time I will say this one I've been using the most out of all of my cleansers this one and the next one I'm going to share with you guys one thing I do want to say though if you are sensitive to fragrance like you may not like this because you can really smell that that kale and the green tea so I don't know it, it may not be for everybody I don't experience like breakouts from it or anything but it definitely does have that fragrance it does foam up now what I will say about this as well if you have dry skin you may not also like this because when I'm done with it my face is a little bit tight and it's a little bit drier so you know that's just something to consider I have normal to dry so this for me is not too terrible uh, but it does dry me out just a little bit but I do go on with really moisturizing products afterwards and so I just wanted to bring that up as well and that one is kind of pricey, so it's definitely best to get it on a sale like this one. And then we have the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser with Moringa and Papaya, which looks like this. And you guys, I've loved this one for years. Like, I know that you guys know I get sent BoxyCharm every single month, but you guys, I have been buying BoxyCharm boxes since literally high school. I'm 21 now, so you know what I'm saying? But like, I've been buying it since I was like 15, 16. So, I got this in a BoxyCharm years ago. And ever since then, I've been stocking up. Matter of fact, let me show you. I just went through one, and now I have this one that I've opened up. So this one is pretty full. And then I have these two right here because I am a crazy woman who needs to have backups of this at all times. I am obsessed. Obviously, when I really like something, I gotta have my backups. Like, I just have to. You never know. So, I really enjoy those products. 100% recommend them. And, yeah. Oh, I didn't even say much about this, did I? So, this one definitely foams up as well. My one thing about this one that I think some people may like about this one more than this one is the fact that this one does. That was a lot of this one, this one, this one. But, this one does does foam up too but it doesn't leave your skin feeling as tight in my opinion as this one and like this one is a little bit less drying so if you do have really dry skin you might like this one even more but I do find that this one really gets up in there a little bit more than this one in my opinion so for them deep cleanses I definitely love this one but for a good everyday just subtle wash this is perfect it just depends on your preference this one is also way 
probably more affordable than this one so it also depends on that as well and the scent on this one is not nearly as intense as on this one so options then we have the triple peptide and cactus oasis serum from youth to the people which looks like this I do like the packaging one big negative that I have about this product is that every time I do well okay every time I go to like shoot it out do you guys see that do you see how it just like you literally have to like catch it you guys I do not like the dispenser of that product like it is really not my favorite I'm gonna go ahead and add some more oh my goodness it's my favorite but I don't know what's going on with this nozzle. I freaking hate the sprayer. It's so annoying, you guys. Like, for it to be $54, they need to figure this out. I can't be the only one that just hates it. I do a lot of TikTok skincare videos, and in every single one, I have to redo takes using this product because it just gets everywhere. So I'm wasting the product, which is really annoying. But other than that, you guys, it has 4D hyaluronic acid in here. I love hyaluronic acid. Like, this is so good for every day. I don't try to use it every single day just because, like I said, this is a very hefty price point. Babe, if I have $50 to spend, like, every, you know, two weeks, maybe every month, this probably lasts you, like, a good month or two, um, I definitely would use it every single day, like, day and night because I love it so much. This is actually recommended for day and night. You could use it either way. But I prefer to use it in the morning time. But anyways, um, I really enjoy this for when I'm feeling very dry, you guys. Like I said, I have normal to dry skin. Sometimes my skin is good. It loves me that day. Sometimes my skin gives me a hassle and I need to go into something like this to really bring back that hydration. And you guys, it lasts all day and makes your makeup feel amazing over top. And I just really enjoy it, you guys. So... It's definitely a splurge item, but if you do have a little bit extra or if you have been eyeing this, this is the perfect time to get this. I love it so much. And if I didn't already have a good amount of it to last me a minute, I would definitely get it on the sale. But I have so many other things, you guys. I am eyeing right now so I really want to try something from Tatcha you guys so if you've tried anything from Tatcha please let me know in the comments I really want to try like that dewy skin cream so bad it's just pricey pricey just like that then for eyes I'm gonna give you three options which I know seems crazy but you guys my under eyes are one of the areas that I feel like I really need to cater to even right now I've actually used my products and you guys can clearly tell like my under eyes are still looking a little bit dry I just have really dry under eyes unfortunately so I'm gonna start with this one this one's gonna be the most expensive one you guys you do not need this but I'm going to share it with you it is the true Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm from Algenist. I hope I'm saying the name right. This is what she looks like. This is a very thick cream. It's one of those eye creams. Sorry, you guys. I have to smell everything. But it's one of those eye creams that you definitely have to work onto the under eyes a little bit more than the other ones I'm going to name after this because it's a little bit more of a thicker formula. But to me, I really need that some days. So this one for me is for when I am really dry on the under eyes. Maybe I didn't get like enough sleep or something. Like today I used it because I did not get enough sleep and I felt like they looked really, really dry and crusty and dusty and busted so I had to go in with this one this is like $50 I want to say if that's wrong like too far up there I'm sorry I feel like it is though like at least like $40 around which is crazy for an eye cream but you guys I love it there is an ingredient in here that's supposed to be very very good for the under eyes cannot put my finger on it at this moment but it's supposed to be very good for the under eyes I love this definitely again a splurge purchase only if you have a little bit extra this one though for every single day I really like this is the Tarte C wink of H2O eye cream and you open her up Again, you gotta smell it. This one definitely smells more like a typical moisturizer. Like, honestly, this definitely gives me very lightweight vibes as well. So definitely thinner and way more lightweight than the Algenis. So I love this for every single day wear on the under eyes. I know that basically a lot of people say that, you know, eye creams are basically just mini moisturizers. This definitely gives me like mini moisturizer vibes. I actually want to see if they have a wink of H2O 
face cream because I think that might be like really great like a moisturizer because I love this for under the eyes very hydrating and also vegan which is great then this one right here is the Tula skincare glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm y'all I love this but I love the rose glow and get it a little bit more which is this but it's pink I recommend that one a little bit more than this one this is what this one swatches like so this is what it will look like on your under eye so you guys can see it has kind of like this blue tone to it just like it looks like in the um, component definitely has that blue effect on the under eye so it can help you look a little bit more like you know awake I personally prefer the pink one because it definitely has a subtle light pink touch which I think just looks really flattering in the morning when you put it on the under eyes and it's very like light and a little bit you know reflective it just looks good and it makes you look awake the blue one is okay but I just really got a thing for that pink one you guys I totally recommend it and I want to say both the wink of H2O and the Tula sticks are around like the $20, $30 mark. But if I had to recommend one thing, you guys, I think the one that's going to be best suited for like everyone would probably be the Wink of H2O. I've also been trying one from Summer Fridays, but I don't think that's sold on Sephora. And then this is the last skincare product I'm going to recommend. So these are the two moisturizers from 2021 that I was just using a bunch. And only one of them has really, really impressed me more than the other. So this is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is nice. I do enjoy it. I feel like it sits on top of my skin though. And for that reason, I... I'm not reaching for it anymore. It did also make me pill a little bit one time, which I think had a big influence on why I did not want to keep continuing to use it. I feel like it happened like two or three times actually, but this one has never done that to me and I just really enjoy it. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Oh my gosh, if you guys are into moisturizers that are going to hydrate but also give you that glass skin look this is your girl let me show you guys like I put quite a dent in this product as well it is such a beautiful 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 product so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I just want to show you guys the glass skin effect that this does give I love this so much especially under my makeup you guys but it is very beautiful you guys also the Bobbi Brown enriched face face y'all already know like that's a recommendation I put that in the actual makeup one because I literally wear it as like a primer every single day but if you don't like rose fragrant you're not going to like this if you're sensitive to rose fragrant you're not gonna like this Ooh, but if you do you will freaking love this you guys a toner that I love from Amonde Beauty is also um, it's like rose scented and I but I don't think you can get that at Sephora, so it's not in this video. This one is definitely a staple in my collection. It has strengthening damask rose and a duo of hyaluronic acids, which we already know that I love. And if you mix this and this together on a dry skin day, you're going to be good to go. So I really recommend this as well. The reason I actually picked up the First Aid Beauty product was because this one is definitely more expensive. So I wanted to try out a more affordable one to see if I liked it a little bit more and if I could actually switch over to this one and I do not like it more than this one. So this one is staying where she's at. No, 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 no. Did I say that that was the last skincare product? Okay, this is the last skincare product. This is from Kiehl's. I recommended this last year. I'll probably recommend it every single year. This is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. You guys, I love this mask. It does exactly what it says that it's going to do. It definitely gets up in those pores and it makes your skin feel and look better, which is just what I look for in a mask. I don't like it when they're too intense. One that I've tried that's so intense though that I actually like is from Glam Glow. It's like in a black packaging. Um, what's the name of that? I love it though. It's like it has these leaves 
and it's like very intense the first time I ever tried that one like I felt like it was burning my skin which is really bad like stay away from that if you are let me sh let me share it with you so you don't like try it ever and then get burned it's not a bad burn to me it's one of those things that feels bad but good kind of vibe let me let me show you so I love the brand Glam Glow. The Berry Glow is good, but you guys, I feel like this one, it softens my skin, which I love, but a lot of masks soften my skin. This Kiehl's one, definitely the clay mask, softens my skin. So for that reason, you know, other than that, you know, it has like a very berry smell to it. Pretty sure this one is expired, you guys, so I need to actually probably throw that out. But this is the one I was talking about. This is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. Y'all, when you put this on, it feels like it's burning. But I love it, and I love how my skin looks afterwards. Like, me and my girlfriend both use this sometimes, and I really freaking love it. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So I would recommend this only if you are not a person that has super sensitive skin because this will definitely get you good. Like this will definitely burn you up a little bit, but like in the best way possible in my opinion. But if you like something more mild, this is not for you. Like this is not for you. This is something I would say is definitely more for you though. I could see this working for a lot of different skin uh, types. It has Amazonian white clay and I just really, really like it. And my girlfriend actually bought me this, so shout out to her. This is how much I've used of it and what it looks like. So you get a lot of uses. I don't know how much money this is, because like I said, this was a gift for my girlfriend, but I get a lot of use out of it, and I've barely, I mean, I put a dent in it, but it's not that big of a dent for how many times I've actually used it. This is the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask, which says it moisturizes, smooths, and adds body and shine. I think it totally moisturizes. It does add some shine for sure. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. I actually used it today, um, and then it also says it adds body. I'm not 100% sure of how much body this one adds um, and then it also adds shine which I do agree with the one thing I'll also say is by the way this says for all skin types but the one thing I'll say that I like about this mask versus other masks that I have tried in the past is that this one is not super heavy on your hair. I like to put it in my hair while I'm in the shower and then I'll put it up in a hair tie, let it sink into the hair, and then I'll just do my other, you know, skincare, self-care stuff like shaving, scrubs, all that kind of stuff, and I just let it up there. Then I rinse it out. I keep a little bit of it inside because that's just how I like to do it, and then I feel like it really makes a big difference friends y'all I am someone that box dyes her hair you guys it's so funny though because tomorrow I will actually not have red hair anymore it will probably be um, like brown with some highlights because I will be getting my hair professionally done tomorrow which I haven't done in like the longest but Anyways, I love this so much and I feel like it's definitely kept my hair like in okay condition for box dyeing it and this is how much I've actually used of the products like right here. So I've actually had this since December and I've been using it since December so it lasts a long time. It's, it's definitely not like cheap, you know what I'm saying, but it does last a long time so I really do enjoy this product and again, it is for all hair types. I just, I enjoy this a lot and I think a lot of people would get use out of this one specifically. And the last product, you guys, I had to mention this, is the Kapari Coconut Crush Scrub. So this is what she looks like. This is the old version, which I'll show you guys like how much I've used of it. You guys can see this basically needs to go in the trash at this point. And then I have the new packaging because Ulta also did a 20 Days of Beauty. I recommended this there too. And this is what the new packaging looks like, which I have to say, I definitely love it way more than the other packaging. So first of all, this smells really freaking good, you guys. Definitely has that coconutty vanilla scent that I am in love with. And then you do see what the scrub looks like up in there. I will say this is very pricey. It's like $40 I want to say so to get it on a sale is just ideal for me personally That is the on only time I'll probably end up purchasing these as well But you guys the way this really gets up in there in the skin and exfoliates like this is definitely Not like a medium. It's not mild. It's not a medium. I would say a medium to a little bit more harsh You know exfoliator 
I'm gonna just say it's harsh. It's pretty harsh, you guys, but I actually like that with my exfoliators. I think this is a very, very good one to use. If you're familiar with the Dr. Teal's one, I feel like this one is a little bit more rough than that one, a little thicker than that one, if you will. So I love this one so much, but it's definitely nowhere close to um, how mild the Truly ones are. Those ones are very, very mild in my opinion, but I love the scents on those. They smell so clean. Anyways, anyways, this is really great, you guys. It definitely does leave your skin feeling soft. There's this would you say film if you tried this? I don't know if I would say film, but there's definitely a residue on the skin, which I know kind of sounds gross, you guys, but it feels good and hydrating on the skin without even using lotion. So it's kind of like a two-in-one. It'll exfoliate you and also give you some hydration and moisture to the skin. So I freaking love this, you guys. It definitely, there's a reason I keep repurchasing it. I freaking love it. I will continue to repurchase it. I definitely want to try the Kapari um, deodorant too. I might pick that up on the sale. I'm unsure though. I'm I'm leaning towards yes, but maybe no. I know that also, uh, what brand is it? Sol de Janeiro definitely has one as well. So I'm thinking of getting theirs. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried either or. I would love to know. But yeah, you guys, those are all of my recommendations. And I think I only have like one more Sephora VIB sale video to do, which is just me condensing like all of my recommendations into like a solid 10 things that I really think you you guys would be able to get a lot of use out of and just my top 10 holy grails from Sephora because I feel like the first video that I did like let's not lie was a little bit you know content heavy it was really really long and there was a lot in there but I just love all the products that I did share um, but I do want to condense it because I know those kind of videos can be overwhelming if they're too long but I hope this one wasn't I don't think that it will be I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations for one thing I didn't mention is like fragrance or if you have any recommendations for hair products uh, or makeup, anything really, please leave those in the comments down below. I would love to shop some of your recommendations. Like I always love when you guys recommend things to me. I just really do. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed hearing about my favorite products. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one, besties. Bye.